Good morning. You know, Arnold Palmer won the Masters Golf Tournament four times. He's one of the greatest golfers that the game has ever seen. Today is supposed to be a practice round at Augusta National as everybody is getting ready for the tournament and tomorrow on Thursday should be the beginning of the Masters. You know, the name comes from the idea that these would be the best of the best golfers, the masters of the game. They would come together and play starting in 1934. It was a tournament that Bobby Jones really helped to begin. And Arnold Palmer turned out to be one of the best. You know, I had the privilege of going to La Trobe earlier this year and going to the hometown where Arnold Palmer was born and raised and and you can just feel his presence everywhere. I mean, there's a statue of him down at the, at the airport and, and out at the country club. And it was just really fun to be able to go and see Arnold Palmer everywhere in his town. We went out to the Trobe Country Club and, and to stand in the first tee box and to look down the fairway, to look over at the 18th green, and to know that Arnold's mother and father's ashes are spread near the 18th green. His father, Deacon, was the groundskeeper there at La Trobe Country Club, and so Arnold grew up around golf. But they weren't members of the club, so Arnold couldn't really go play on the course. No, he, he could caddy, and he did caddy on the course, but it was every Monday when the course would be closed, then Arnold and his friends, when they came home from school, could go play golf on the course. And that's when they did, and they had such a good time. One of the things that they loved to do was they would go get out on the course and then they would say things like, it's the U.S. Open and we're down to the very end and it's now the final day. It's, it's, everything is on the line. It's on the back nine and they would kind of play and they'd all choose who they were going to be. Some of Arnold's friends talked about growing up and doing that when all of them would go out, all these boys would go out there and go play. They'd choose up names who they wanted to be. Some of them said, well, I, I want to be Bobby Jones. I'll be Sam Snead. I'll be Walter Hagen. But they said, whenever we would choose up our names as to who we were going to be, when they always said, Arnold, who are you going to be? He always said, Arnold Palmer. Arnold Palmer always knew who he was. And it's why he loved Latrobe. It's where he had been born and raised. Such a love and a support from family and friends. And later in his career, when he had made all his millions, he had a home in Orlando. He had Bay Hill Country Club, but he always still spent half the year in this little town of 10,000 people, Latrobe, coming back to the Latrobe Country Club because it helped him to know who he was all his life. I'll be Arnold Palmer. You know, right now, you and I are going through this Holy Week what a great time for us to be looking at our lives and remembering who we are and feeling good about who we are. Remember as you go through Holy Week, God doesn't love you because you're perfect. God loves you because you're his child. And it's when you and I remember the gift of God's grace here on Holy Week and we remember who we are, it helps you to spring into the future with a whole new sense of confidence and hope. When you know God's grace, you'll discover that you're ready to go play around with the master. Have a great day.